hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me tally girl aka anaya and we are back with another video so today is my very 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 late um april yeah april manis so let's just go ahead and get into it because it is already june so we're late okay so let's just go ahead and hop into the video First of all, if you guys have not seen my previous video, my Manny with me that I posted, go check that out. It's a little quick life update, a nail polish update. So many questions are answered. So yeah, just go look at that if y'all wanna know why I've been gone for so long. But I did want to show you guys my April manis because I did wear some amazing manicures that month and I did some really nice combo. So I wanted to show everything with you guys. So I started off the month of April with a neutral polish. So this one's from 90 Lacquer and it is called S'more Hollow. So it is just a nude hollow polish. Um, it's kind of more on the mauve side. It definitely has some purple undertones and it has a very soft linear hollow uh, flare in it. Um, I think I'm going to de-stash this one. Something about the way it looked on me, I just didn't, I didn't really like like it against my skin tone and my skin tone hasn't changed or anything but i think it might just be a taste thing and plus i have other like mauvey colors like this in my collection for example like zoya's bridget that i think are more more flattering on my skin tone so i think i'm going to get rid of this one so this is nine zero lacquer in s'more hollow Next up, I wore an OPI mini, and I completely forgot the name of this one because they don't put the names on the bottles. Uh, you guys know, I don't know why they do that, but I wanna say it's called Big Bow Energy. If I am wrong, I will put the actual name on the screen, but I think it's called Big Bow Energy. So I ended up wearing this when I went to Florida with my family in April, um, early April. And this is just a beautiful hot pink cream. So I actually wore this on my toes and on my nails um, for the trip, for about half of the trip, and then I ended up changing it. Um, but this is such a nice cream of polish, opaque in two coats. And I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone with pinks, and I usually would not go for something like this. And this is my second time wearing it, so I actually kind of like it. Um, so I'm happy that I'm like trying new colors that I don't really, you know i don't usually wear so again beautiful hot pink cream and then and next up in the middle of my trip i wore i switched out my nail polish and i put on this beautiful zoya and this one's in the shade yummy so it is this beautiful cornflower blue cream super cute love this one and when I wore this, my nails were a little bit longer, so that was fun too. And it's just a beautiful um, blue, yeah. And if you guys are interested, I did a whole vlog um, of my trip. Um, it's actually split up into two parts, so if you guys wanna see those vlogs, I'll put them in the cards for you um, of my Florida trip. But this was the polish that I wore for the remaining half. Um, of my little vacay and this one's from Zoya and it's called Yummy. So I told you guys that I wore some really cute combos and this is one of them. So I wore Zoya Mira, which is this beautiful rich purple. And then I paired that with this Noodles nail polish in the Unicorn. So this is a Crelly. It has a white base and it has blue and pink and purple glitters in there of all different sizes and i paired these two together because i thought they would look cute and they did um the zoya i would this was a little dark um because it dries down a little bit darker um than it is in the bottle but i did really like it and i feel like this would be so cute to like transition into the fall <clears throat> like wearing this polish and like September or something like that um and then I pulled out a Crelly because I have not worn a Crelly in a really long time when I first got into indies I really loved Crelly's and that was like the only thing I bought and now I don't really reach for them so I wanted to pull this one out and try to wear it 
I I don't know. I feel like I can let this one go too. So this is like the month of these stashes. But I really did like it. But I don't know. My taste is just changing. And I'm not into curlies like I was when like I first started collecting indie nail polishes like back in 2019. Um, Cause I used to love glitter curlies. Um, but I think this is just one that I can let go. So I think I'm going to de-stash this one as well. Um, but this was gorgeous. And again, I will pull this out for the fall. This will look cute on the toes. Really, really love this. A really good Zoya uh, cream formula. I don't think I have a Z wide in here. No, it has the regular brush. Great formula, amazing. So that was Zoya Mira and Noodles Nail Polish in the Unicorn. So after that, I decided to wear yet another combo. So this one, I paired up this beautiful green from Color Club. This one is in the shade Olive Paris. So it's this beautiful olive green, but it's like a pastel olive green, which I think is really unique. And that's why I really wanted to buy this one when that collection came out, um, because a pastel olive green, like I'm here for it. And then I topped it with China Glaze uh, Golden Enchantment. So this is a very finely milled uh, glitter, a uh, gold glitter um, polish. It's in a clear base and the glitters are holographic. So if you guys are familiar with fairy dust, this is just the gold version. And I thought these would go great together and they really did. This was opaque in two coats, beautiful formula. Then I topped it off with this just to give it a little sparkle, a little razzle dazzle, okay? And I really liked these together. Really cute Manny. So that was Color Club, Olive Paris, and China Glaze Golden Enchantment. And last but not least, this is the manicure that I ended up wearing. Um, I ended up going to a festival, something in the water. So this is what I ended up wearing for that. Um, this is a Zoya and this is called Thandy. So I wanted some oranges from Zoya because I store my Zoyas in alphabetical, not alphabetical order, in color order. If you guys have not seen my Zoya collection, I just put one up this year. Um, I will be continuing my collection series. Uh, I think we're doing Orly and Essie next. Um, but Zoya is already up. It is an updated collection video. So I'll put that in the cards for you guys if you guys wanna watch that. But if you guys don't know, my Zoya collection is in rainbow order and I didn't have any oranges. So that was my inspiration for buying this polish. And I don't have a whole lot of oranges, to be honest, in general. Um, so I wanted to expand my horizon a little bit more. I've been doing that with the pinks and now I'm gonna try to do it with orange. Um, so this is just a true orange shade. And you guys can see a little bit in the bottle, there's almost like this pearlescent shimmer in there now when you put the first coat on you can see it but once you do that second coat it kind of like covers it up um so i did wear this in second coat in two coats um but i felt like it had some like dark spots so maybe going in with the third coat will help um my nails were a little bit longer when i wore this too so it might be different now um but yeah I don't really have any oranges like this. Most of the oranges I have are either neon oranges or um, like a pumpkin type of orange for the fall. So um, this definitely filled a hole in my collection by having a nice standard, you know, medium orange cream. So this is Zoya's Thandy. And after I wore Thandy and wrapped up April, I did not wear a polish for a month. Like I said, if you guys wanna know more about why I stopped wearing polish for a whole entire month and everything that's been going on and why I've been away from this channel, um, go watch my Manny With Me video. Um, and that explains everything while I paint my nails with you guys for the first time in forever, okay? Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for still rocking with me and being subscribed even though I have not been consistent lately, but I am back, we are being consistent. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a huge thumbs up, that really helps the channel. And also subscribe if you haven't because it's the end of the video. So you like the video, you watch the whole video, so go ahead and subscribe, okay? We're almost to a thousand subscribers. 
I'm so excited. So hopefully we can do that before the summer is over. Like maybe by my birthday in July. Okay, I'm just saying. If you, I mean, you got to the end of the video. You got to the end of the video. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's right below this video. It's right down there. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.